Do you sleep good at night, Hope? Do you remember what I said to you? I remember what you said to me. Do you? Do you remember what my wish was for, for you? Yes, I do. Has that come true? I would say yes. Good. What was your wish for her? Well, part of my wish was that they would stay in, a, in prison the rest of their lives and that their cell would be covered with pictures of her body and that they would hear constant recordings of her screams for help for the rest of their lives. That was my hope for them. And I do hope you're haunted by that because I think if you're haunted by that enough, we'll be assured that you'll never do this again because I never want anybody to suffer the way my child suffered. I don't either. You were inhuman that night. You were not even, there was not even a hint of being human that night. Dogs don't tear their prey apart the way you all tore her apart. She was 12 years old. She was a beautiful, happy child. Had her whole life ahead of her, and you took it away. And you destroyed our life. I just want you to always remember what you did. I don't want you to ever live a day that you don't see her face, ever. But there's nothing you can say, and there's nothing you can do. And whether I forgive you or not is totally totally irrelevant because your judgment comes later. I have nothing to do with it. Is there anything you would like to say to them? Just that I'm sorry and that I will do everything that's in my power to try and keep this from ever happening. And I, I don't know if you think that I could do that, that there's anything that I can say or do, but I mean, if there is, then I will. And I do think about it every day. I don't ever want somebody to have to deal with this again. And not because of what I had to deal with, because of what you went through and what your family went through, because of our decision making, because of our inability to stand up and make the right decisions. Let me just tell you this. Unless you have a child and your child is murdered like mine was, you'll never know what, we're th what we've gone through and, and I, what we go through that. every day. But I hear you saying, that you knew what you set out to do was bad. You were with a, a, a gang of girls that were gonna go get a 12-year-old child and beat them up. And, and you get that that was bad, but you never thought it was gonna spiral into someone being tortured for 10 hours and then ultimately killed. That was not in your head when you started. Yes, that's true. But that's what it snowballed into. That is what happened. Do you get the gravity of Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You don't I trivialize that, you don't minimize no, that. Not in, no, not at all. I cannot imagine, no. And no, I don't at all trivialize it at all. And you sit here convicted of murder. Yes. And you said that you were scared at the time. I do get how, how you can be scared at the time. What I don't get is when you had the four hours, you did nothing about it. What I don't get is this picture right here. I know. This is a mugshot where you have been arrested after the death of an innocent child, and you're smiling ear to ear. When I was, when I was arrested and I was taken in to, the, to be fingerprinted and have my mugshot taken, the two detectives that were with me were joking about my age and referring to the fact that they had kids my age and I mean they were just trying because I was upset and I was crying and they were trying to. What were you upset and crying about? Because of what had happened and what was going on. Were you, I mean, cry were you crying when she was burning and begging for her mommy? Actually I was. You were? Yeah, actually I was. So how did you keep pouring the gasoline on her when she went and, and, and you were crying while you were pouring gasoline? No, I was crying when we left. But you weren't doing it when you were pouring the gas, were you? What made you cry? Because of what had happened. Because you weren't sad, because if you were sad, you wouldn't have done it. And you would have told somebody, you're not sad today. You just have to deal with it, because you already did it. You will always be a murderer. Were you rehabilitated in prison? I felt like I went through the changes, and I felt that I dealt with a lot of things that led up to that night. And I feel that, you know, I grew up there. And so, I mean, my response to that would be yes. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.